everyone, and welcome to the Yarn Journey Crochet Podcast. I am your host, Holly. Um, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back, and hello to all new viewers. We've got quite a few subscribers since last podcast, so hi! <laughs> <coughs> excuse me, I'm still getting over being sick, so excuse my little coughing fit. Um, you can find me on Ravelry as Yarn Journey Crochet on, um, no, Ravelry, I am Crafty Mommy Corner, same with Etsy, that is my Etsy shop name, and you can find me on Instagram as Yarn Journey Crochet. Oh, excuse me. My eyes were watering early here because I had something in my eye underneath my contact. So, yes, that is... That cow starts today. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, also, I want to apologize that I look so pale. I am ghostly white today because we had a huge storm. We had the cyclone bomb, and it really wasn't that bad. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, but we still have about, I would say, 8 to 12 inches. It depends on where you step, basically. Um, of snow and my front window is wide open <clears throat> so I'm getting the the white glare of snow on my face which I'm so excited we got snow I was so jealous when everybody else was getting snow and we got snow we got to play in it unfortunately I had to shovel it yesterday but me and my husband made a deal he said he'd do the dishes clean the kitchen and the living room if I went and shoveled snow, which I have no problem with cold. I love snow. I'll go outside, but I'm sore today. <laughs> my back sore. My arms are sore from shoveling at least a good 30 yards of snow to get my car out so I can go grocery shopping. Fun stuff. Um, I'm a little over there. Um, anyways, Cal. The cow starts today. Sorry, I went on that little tangent, but the cow starts today. I'm super excited. So as you know, we have prizes, which I don't have out. I thought I had out, but I don't. No. Okay. Well, the prizes are Mandala, Lion Brand Mandala yarn. You'll get two balls of Sphinx, which is a blue, brown taupe kind of color it's beautiful or you can get gnome which is rainbow bright it is amazing like my daughter saw it and she was like oh. she loves everything rainbow um and this one i do have next to me you can get the crochet world magazine with 24 patterns yes it is holiday patterns but the holidays come around every year so it still is useful um and here are some of the patterns in there there's wraps scarves all kinds of stuff even slippers mittens oh my goodness I have a I have my own with me too like I have one and then I'm giving one away as a gift or as a prize um so, I have finally decided on the yarn I was going to use. I was debating which one I was going to use. My husband bought me, you know, the Woltrum yarn, which I was thinking about using. But there was way too much yarn, and I didn't want to lose any of that gradient. So, I need to find a bigger shawl for that or some other project. So, I decided to go with Lion Brand Mandala yarn in the colorway Pegasus. This is gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm gonna love it. I love these purples in there. It's like amazing. And those coral colors in the green. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm loving it. So this, this is my colorway that I'm gonna be using. I am so excited to get started. Like basically once I'm done doing this cast on, I need to do my hair because these roots are, uh, not cutting it anymore <laughs> so I need to redo my hair put in a fun color maybe surprise you guys next podcast but um, after that 
I am totally on this. I am starting this cowl. I am, yes, my hair is crazy. I should have just left it with my Farrah Fawcett hair. It looked actually pretty good this morning. It just like swooped up like a little wave. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like going on a tangent and ugh. I got new makeup brushes, so I'm getting used to them. And looks a little patchy. And I'm a little pale. I should have put bronzer on. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I am all over the place this morning. Probably because of the excitement. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so, we'll move on to FOs because I have quite a few. Um, actually, I have, yeah, I have three. Okay. So, oh my god, it's finished. <laughs> it's finished. I finished my Aerogenia shawl by Silk. It's like a shirt. Terhorst. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, okay. So, <clears throat> beautiful. This is two strands of wool like, uh, wool, loops and threads wool like, and amethyst held together. So, this is two. This is La Jolla yarn in PBJ. And this is just one skein. This is all I have left. This is a little 10 gram mini. That's it all I have left which is why my border is so tiny um, they use puff stitches in the border and it even warns you like right off the bat the border is gonna take 30% of your yarn like it's hefty right so going into that I was like okay I don't know which color I want to use and I'll just go until I, sorry, I have hair all over this because I've been wearing this all week. I took it outside to snow shovel, to shovel the snow. <laughs> so I only made uh, three rows of the border because I didn't have enough. I mean, I could have probably switched to the purple, <laughs> but that probably would have only given me another three rows. And I think there's seven, so I would have like left out the last row. So, and I don't know if I would have would have looked with two small rows. So yes, beautiful. Okay, here's the thing that I had issue with this pattern. It's beautiful. I love it. I'll probably still do it again, even though I had this problem. My stitch count was always off. I don't know what I did wrong. I did the pattern. I counted, and I was always off and it was always on so this section when you go from the double crochets it was either this section of double crochets into the double crochet chain one or these double crochets when I had to start the V stitches like not well she puts them at what does she call them small shells and big shells um so I always had an issue either right here or right here with the stitch count. Ooh, sorry. Um, I don't know what happened. Like I counted, maybe I miscounted or maybe I did miss something. I don't know. Um, I, all the comments I read on there, the beautiful pattern, no problem, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, maybe it's user, user error because I was having such a hard time with the stitch count. And she gives you a stitch count, like, um, spreadsheet. But the way it was set up, for me, my brain was just like, mm -mm, I'm not going to comprehend this. Nope, no way. <laughs> so I was just like, okay, that's probably my fault because I should have read it. But, you know. Either way, I will be making another one of these because they're so beautiful. Yes. Um. So yeah, beautiful. I love it. And I've been wearing it all week. And I was so worried because this has so many gaps and it's kind of supposed to be lacy. And I haven't blocked this yet. I haven't washed it, blocked it, nothing. And I probably won't. I don't know. I'm kind of lazy when it comes to that stuff. But I was so worried that with this lacy bit, uh-uh, not that button, please. Okay? Because that's really loud. Thank you. 
I was really worried that with this kind of lacy kind of bit that it wouldn't be super warm. Boy, was I wrong. Because, let me tell you, I was outside snuck. Oh my god, I can't say shoveling snow. I was shoveling snow in 20 degree weather, Fahrenheit. I was sweating. Well, one, I was shoveling snow, so I was like working basically. But this kept me so warm. It was crazy, crazy sauce how warm it was. Okay, so next finished object. So that was the Irigenia shawl by Silk Turquoise. <laughs> That's fine, go ahead, but don't, please don't ruin it. Okay, so next I have two that they go together, kind of. Um, well, they do go together. Um, I made the Glacier Shawl by, oh my gosh, I'm not sure how to pronounce the first name. I'm pretty sure it's Jean, but it's spelled like G... J E A N N E. So I almost want to say Janine or Jan. We'll just gonna say Jean. Um, by Jean Steinhilber. It is called the Glacier Cowl, and it is super pretty. And I am in love with these colors. Um, so it's like a nice, good size cowl on me because I have a chubby neck. I am almost just like choking on it. <laughs> like. It has a good amount of, like, stretch, though, so. Oh, I just got lipstick on it. Oh, no. And face makeup. So, as you can see, really tight on me. <laughs> oh, my God. I look like I have a neck brace on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's, we'll not go there. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, I'm thinking I'm going to put this up for sale in the, um, in my Etsy shop because it's super pretty and it's too small for me and I really had no, I'm trying to find the, the lipstick that I got on it, um, which I'm probably, I have to wash these anyways before I sell them just because I have dog hair and I like to wash stuff before I sell it just because if people do have an allergy to animals, I can try and get as much dander, pet dander out of it as possible and hair. Okay, hold on. This was a coffee cup that my grandma gave me. Oh my God, I love it. I miss, I'm missing California so bad right now. I mean, I'm not missing the weather at all. It's still in the 70s over there. <sighs> no, thank you. I like my cold weather. I am digging my seasons, but we have like little San Francisco and Coronado and San Diego and Shamu, San Francisco. So, and it says I love California on the inside. Oh, yeah. I miss my grandma. Anyways, I'm thinking I'm gonna put this up for sale in the shop. Um, the, like I said, this is a Glacier Cowl. It's on Ravelry for free. Um, and I used, um, sweet rolls, Premier Sweet Rolls, and this is in the colorway Gelato Pop. I am loving it. It's 100% acrylic. It's worsted weight yarn. You know, it's super accessible. If you have a Joann's near you, you can even get it online. And online, they have these new things. Oh my gosh, what is it called? They're not sweet rolls. They're oh, what is it called? It's very similar to a sweet roll. It's made by Premier, but it's like, oh my gosh, what is it called? When they they twist two colors together and it's like variegated with like that. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I need to get some, which is why I'm trying to use my sweet roll so I can justify the fact that I'm gonna get a different type of roll, <laughs> different type of cakey yarn. So this is the clap cowl that I made. And I made, a little matching ear warmer so this fits me because I I don't know I might have a small head because that didn't work <laughs> my hair is like messing this up this is not a cute look okay like fluffy head it's like a fluffy butt head <laughs> you're, you're 
So, so yeah, there's a matching he- ear warmer that goes with it. Um, and I'm thinking I'm setting, gonna sell these as a set because they match, like just it only makes sense. You know, obviously there's a lot more white in this than any other color, but what can you do? It's part of the sweet roll, but they still match. All the colors match, the textures match. It's just a little different. So those are my FOs. Um, there's no pattern to this. I basically just copied this, but did a smaller stitch count. And the multiples are by four. So yeah, I think I did 56 on this. No, 78. I can't remember. I can't remember. But that was the same yarn. Moving on to whips. <laughs> I had to get all extravagant whips. <laughs> my hair. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. I'm sorry. It's totally showing. Um, so I decided I want to do another Glacier Cowl because I love the way it looks and it's super mindless to crochet. I love it. Um, and this time I am still doing it in um, a sweet roll. And this one, this is the sweet roll I'm using. This is in Ice Pop. So it's very fitting. Glacier Cowl, Ice Pop. Makes sense. So it's these beautiful blues, icy, dark blue. Oh, beautiful. So this is the start of it. This is where I'm at. And once this one's done, I'll probably have this one up for sale as well. Just because I want to start making, like, I love crocheting, but I feel like, well, I want to sell the stuff that I'm making because I have no use for all of this stuff. <laughs> I mean, I know I could gift it to people, but I don't know. A lot of people in my life, they aren't very crochet worthy. Like, they don't. Like, I can make for my grandma, and she's going to completely understand and love it and use it and wear it, whatever. But I feel like a lot of other family members, not that there's anything wrong. Some people just aren't into handmade gifts, and that's fine. I completely understand. So it's one of those things that I just don't think they'll appreciate it as much as someone else, you know? So, I mean, I could gift it, but... Mm. I'd rather sell it and it go to someone who actually wants it and not someone that's, you know, I'm gifting it to them and it sits in their drawer and never gets used. So, yes, this is a start of where I'm at. I even have this little matching icy blue stitch marker. This was the one I was trying to show you guys last week. It's a glass bead that I found. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. Oh, get out of the way, yarn. This isn't about you. It's like these dark there's a dark blue light blue like a tealy and then there's like like uh, slashes of black and oh I love it so and it goes perfect with this cowl so <laughs> um, I'm also gonna make a matching ear warmer for this one because it takes two cakes to make this and the ear warmer so trying to get rid of some of this cake yarn that I have because I went cake happy last year when it blew up and I was like I have to have some um yeah so that is still the same glacier cowl pattern that I used what open it or close it it is closed you closed it okay next next is my secret pass shawl which, as disappointing as this is, made no pro. Well, I made progress, but it was one of those days where I was just frustrated and just not having a good day. And um, I don't have a stitch marker in here for whatever reason. There you are. Almost lost progress. So I got like three rows, three, four rows in. So. This is my little progress keeper, so you can see where I was at last time, and I'm still in the same spot. Um, <laughs> I had like three rows in, and it was one of those days where I was just having a bad day, frustrated, and I was like, I'm just going to crochet, whatever, take my mind off of it. And I started working, and I messed up on the very first row that I was starting on. I forgot to put the two double crochets in the same stitch. And I just kept going, 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 and I basically got to, what was it? Um, like right before, okay, so no. I was about to start this part again, this little gappy, or the little um, eyelets. And then I realized, 
my stitch count's off. So I had to rip it all out, and I was like, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. No. I was just having a bad day, and that just made it even worse because the thing I wanted to go to to give me solace of my bad day, and it screwed me over. <laughs> I screwed myself over, but, you know, when you're upset, you're just like, darn you. So <laughs> I ended up just like, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Okay, next. This is something I mentioned on the very first podcast. And I didn't show it because it was upstairs and it was huge. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I had to move my, uh, my clipboard. Are you guys ready for this? Oh my gosh. So, if you guys watched my very first podcast, you know I am a huge Supernatural fan. Like, my husband bought me a Funko Pop of Sam Winchester. Yes. I am a huge fan and I want to collect those all. Like, I want to collect them all. I want, I want FBI Sam and Dean and I want, oh, I want them all. Seriously. Anyways, I'm a huge Supernatural fan and I started a graph can last winter and it was like late winter. So, oh, this is upside down. So, let's see if I can get this right way. So, yes, yes, yes. As you can see, it says this supernatural. And I'm starting the, um, as you can see, I've, I'm on the, um, pentacle part well I'm on the flames of the pentacle which you know I've heard this um uh-uh don't throw that please no you don't throw it um sorry I had to go mom mode for a second <laughs> um I heard this interesting fan theory that the pentacle the reason why it has flames around it is obviously the pentacle they have it tattooed on their chest and it is supposed to keep demons out. So it's supposed to stop demon possession. But it also has the flames around it as it's the ring of holy water or the ring of holy oil. So angels can't possess them. And I was like, that is like amazing. Who did not? What? I was like gobsmacked basically. So yes, I am starting. I've did about three rows just because this does take a lot of time <clears throat> these do take a lot of time only because this one is huge I mean it fits my queen size bed and it like overlaps it's huge um so it does take a little bit of time with all the color changes and I have people ask me all the time how do you do the color changes well this is how bobbins you basically wrap I mean, there's other methods that you can do, but I like this because I can clip it on and I don't get tangles. So you just wrap a bunch of yarn around a bunch of clothespins, which I got these from the Dollar Tree. I got like two packs and there was like, I got like a hundred of them or 50, 100, I can't remember. There was a lot, but I got them from the Dollar Tree, like super cheap and you just wrap the yarn around them. Like, n normally I have, like, huge, big balls of yarn, but I've obviously worked on this. So, you just wrap them, and every time you would have a color change, you just add a new bobbin and start working up, and then another one here, another one there, and then you just keep working. And I love graph gans, and I've been having the itch. I'm like, I need to start working on mine again. I love my Supernatural blanket. Oh, my gosh. And I cannot wait get it done I'm gonna have a red border around the edge because yeah I like red and I like black and I'm doing this in black and white and some people are probably looking at me like you are crazy you're nuts doing black yarn especially this much of it but I just work on it during the day and I don't have a problem I don't I love black yarn black is my one of my favorite colors well, colors to wear at least. So yes, this is another whip. Um, this pattern is for sale 
on my site. So if you love it, I also have other supernatural patterns. I have the um, Devil's Trap on there. I have, um, I actually have the faces of the, the the actors. So I have Jensen Ackles, I have Jared Padalecki, and I have Misha Collins. You know, I'm a total supernatural freak. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this show. It's not even funny. Um, which it comes back on, I think next Thursday. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Now that I've totally creeped you guys out with my obsession with Supernatural. <clears throat> my next whips are knitted whips and I got another thumbs down. Thumbs up to you haters. <laughs> I, I feel like you're not a YouTuber unless you have a hater, right? Like someone's got to hate your stuff for no reason. I don't know. Maybe it's because I called them out and they were like, boo, call me out, but. Like, I remember I got my first thumbs down and I told my husband, I was like, Nick, I got my first thumbs down. Like, that was a milestone. <laughs> okay, anyways, these next ones are knitted. I have not made a lot of progress on my knitted projects. Um, let's see if I can get it out. I have too many in this bag. So, oh man, this is all tangled. Okay. This is the Brighten My Day Wrap by Nancy J. Tom. Oh, the Secret Path Shawl, by the way, is by Joanna Lindell. Lindell. Um, this is the Brighten My Day Wrap by Nancy J. Thomas. And this is where I was at last time. It's very little progress. And this takes a long time. Like, this first part, boom, whipped out super quick because there's so little things. But... Man, once you start getting into it, it takes a long time. Especially when you're repeating the same stitch count for three rows. God, it's like my dog laid on everything. So, yes. And this is... Oh, I didn't even tell you what yarn I was using for the Supernatural. Okay, let me just get through this one. This is um, Red Heart Super Saver in Aaron Fleck. And... Red Heart with Love in Renaissance. So, yeah. Very little progress made. And I love my little... My little Celtic knot. Is it Celtic or Celtic? My husband says it's Celtic. And I think it's Celtic. Let me know. If there's anyone in Ireland, let me know. I want to know. Is it Celtic? Or Celtic because I'm pretty sure it's Celtic we'll find out anyways for the supernatural blanket I'm just using um, loops and threads impeccable and black and ivory or black and white um, yeah just and I have red in there but I don't I haven't got to it yet so when I get to it I'll let you know the red color because I'm not sure it might just be red um, next is my other wrap which is the same Brighten My Day wrap. Um, which someone, I can't remember, oh my gosh, I can't remember their name, gave me a tip, which I haven't done yet. I'm going to, but I just got busy. Um, gave me a tip on this um, wire to boil it for a few seconds and it should reshape it. So this is my daughter's. And as you can see, I was way down here. Like, I had just started this. Oh, my God. Look at this one. It's a rose. It reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. So that's why I put it on hers. Because, you know, Beauty and the Beast. Roses. So I've gotten pretty far on this. As you can see. I've messed up again. There's four, four rows of white down there. So... And that is in Big Twist Yarn Ivory for the white. Or is it just white? No, it's white. It's white. I don't know why I keep wanting to say ivory. It's white. And then it's Red Heart Super Saver in Day Glow. And then I have one more whip, which 
I've had some issues with because I'm just, there's no pattern. I'm just going with the flow. So, yes. Which is this bad boy. I had to buy new um, needles because I wanted to do more beanies because I really like doing them. But I had 24 inch cables and that was way too big and I was like struggling. So I had to buy some 16 inch cables with knitting needles. And this is just, um, this is in Wool Z, Loops and Threads Wool Z, which is, um, I know I have the tag over here somewhere, hopefully. I thought I did. I'm lying, apparently. <laughs> um, it was 50% acrylic, 42% 42% wool and 8% polyester. So it's got this really nice halo going on. You can see. Probably not. Let's see. Against, yeah, there you go. Against the dark basket. Um, so yeah, I'm using ivory and I don't know what color the green is. I think it's olive. Um, well, these are discontinued anyways, so you can't really find them, unfortunately. It seems like loops and thread, they bring out certain yarns for the season and then discontinue them. Because I got these last winter and there was a whole bunch and then they clearanced them all and then I haven't seen them since and I've looked them up. Same with the powdery that I used a few podcasts ago. Discontinued. Can't find them. It's a bummer. So it seems like they just like to switch out yarns and not bring them back, I guess. But yes, I'm just doing a little beanie. There's no um, pattern. I'm just winging it. And here's my <laughs> here's my screw up. So it was a 56 stitch count. No, yes, 56. Because I tried 58 and I was like, no, that's not by four. Um, 56. But here's the issue. I got four random rows. Not random. <laughs> So I got four rows of knit stitches, and that was because I did four right there. And I'm like, oh, what the heck? So it's supposed to be knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, but I knit four. And then that threw my stitch count off at the back where the seam's at, or where they join. And that has four. Ugh. But whatever. Whatever. Part of me was like, oh, I'm going to sell this. But then I'm like, I can't now. It's jacked. Maybe I'll give a discount. Like, I was talking to my husband. Maybe I'll give a discount. I'm like, no, that's that's shitty. Ooh, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that is my last whip. So, now I'm going to call this little segment Library Loves because I love buying books. Um, so, we have Yarn Hoarding, which is when I buy yarn. And library love for when I buy books so I've actually bought three but the other one hasn't come in the mail yet so you'll see it next podcast I went to Walmart and I had to pick up more um, tapestry needles or yeah yarn needles because mine seem to go missing all the time and then I find them eventually but at the meantime when I need them I can't find them because they're hiding somewhere so, um, I found these, they're by Leisure Arts, and they're at Walmart for five bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. Um, they have this one, which is Easy Super Scarves, which, seriously, that one on the back. Hello, that is beautiful. These are almost like those blanket scarves. Sorry if my hand's shaking, my arm's sore, so holding stuff up is um, a task. So, like, look. Oh my gosh. And how happy is that guy? He's Well, he's kind of like, mm, I kind of don't want to be here. So I got to kind of mm, half smile. <laughs> but that is one that I really love. It's called Woven Cables. Oh my God, it's beautiful. But these are definitely like blanket scarves. They're huge. And I love that one. I love the yarn they used. It's beautiful. Um, they have like a whole bunch woven plaid. So it's, oh my gosh, 
alternating cables. So they have a lot of cables in here, which is why I bought it, because I love me some cables. I love cables. Oh my god. So there's that one. And then trendy slouch hats. I am not a slouchy hat person, but I know there are tons of people out there that love slouchy hats. I prefer more fitted beanies. That's just me. Um, but then again, I've never owned a slouchy hat, so I don't even know if I like them. Like, I love the look of them on people, but yeah. Super pretty. Oh my gosh, my son is having a fit. Um, I'm trying to, oh, there's a couple on the back. I really like this one. That was the one I was actually looking for right now. And there's another one that has cables. I'm going to try and find the bigger picture so it's easier to see. So that's the one I like. Called Trendsetter. Super cute. Um, let's find the cable. They even have one that's called Time Traveler. And the first thing I thought of was Doctor Who. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Doctor Who. Which, they just got a new doctor, and it seems like every time we get a new doctor, I, and I, I remember Meg saying the same thing. It's like, you kind of don't know if you want to trust them or not. Like, you still have to warm up to them and stuff like that. There's the other one, and that one is called Captivating Cable. So, yeah, we were watching Doctor, my, my husband's a big Doctor Who fan. I'm a ha Doctor Who fan. But my main fandom is Supernatural. And he's Doctor Who. So they got a new doctor and we're very much um, waiting to see what it's going to be like. We saw the um, Christmas special, which was good. Um, but like Meg from Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits. She was like, we don't know if we're going to trust them or not. We have to warm up to them, see if we're going to even like them. And I, I totally go through that process, too. Like, when we went from David Tennant's doctor, the 10th doctor, to the 11th, and Matt Smith came in, the first, like, five episodes, I was like, I don't like him. I don't like him. I can't do it. I don't like him. And now he's my favorite doctor. <laughs> um, so, now that I've gone on that little ramble... Um, I had to buy new knitting needles, and I always buy them in sets, and I buy them on Amazon. Super cheap. They, like, these ones were, is what I got. They're 16-inch cables, and I'm just loving the color of the wood that they made these on. Like, oh my goodness, they look so fancy. I'm fancy. So, yes, and they give you everything from, let's see, what's the smallest one? They give you all of them from, okay, it's not on that side. Let's find you again on this side. A two millimeter, or is, no, is that the smallest one? Yeah, a two millimeter all the way up to a 10. And there is like in between sizes, like a 2.25, 3.75, two, three, four, like, and this was like six bucks on Amazon. Um, I'll, I'll obviously link it down below if anybody needs knitting needles. Um, I actually really like these cables because they're super flexible and they didn't get like stuck in a certain shape, but then the shape that they, I guess, are technically stuck in is the, the circular way you're going to be knitting with them. So, um, there's a little bit of an issue right here. It's not the nicest join, but... When you're learning, you gotta start somewhere, right? And that's the needles that I was using for my hat because I need the 16 inch. So yeah, that is it. That is my whips, my FOs, my um, books, yarn, everything. So yeah, chatter, I guess. Um, we got hit by that bomb cyclone or cyclone bomb or whatever. And we had lost our power from, I would say, 4 a.m. to 1 p.m., which is no big deal. But when you got babies and it's, you know, super cold outside, we were all bundled up. We had, like, long sleeve jackets, socks, pants, and then we all ended up 
cuddling up on the couch. We were all huddled up under blankets. And then my son, he obviously wants to run around. And I'm like, no, it's too cold. You can't play right now. <laughs> and he's like, whatever, mom. So he was running around playing in the living room while everybody's cuddled up on the couch. And eventually my daughter fell asleep. My husband fell asleep on the couch. And it was down. It was time for our nap anyways. So I took him upstairs and about halfway in, I was about 30 minutes into the nap, our power came back on, which was nice because then the heat came back on. Um, yes, we got to play in the snow. And like I said, I shoveled it so I could get to the grocery stores. And the problem is down here is in Virginia, snow, when you get snow in Southern Virginia, I don't know about Northern Virginia, but when you get snow in Southern Virginia, everything shuts down, everything. Like gas stations, fast food places, grocery stores, everything is closed. Everything. And we don't have snow plows. Or if we do, there is only a few. So, like I said, everything stays closed. We were snowed in basically for... So it started snowing Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, we didn't go anywhere. So basically two days. And then yesterday I shoveled some snow so I could go to the grocery store and pick up some things. And yeah, so we were snowed in for two days until I decided to finally shovel us out. And even now, like our road, our, because I live on a cul-de-sac. So our whole cul-de-sac is still covered in snow. I mean, there's tire tracks, but there's still a lot of snow. Like you can't see the ground. <laughs> um, yeah, and then... What else happened this week? Not much. I mean, obviously I did a lot of crocheting and knitting and just hanging out. And yeah, I am just, oh, I know what I want to tell you. I was looking at my phone and I got an email and um, email. Duh. That's what I was telling you. Michael's is having a huge sale on yarn right now. It's buy two, get one free. And they have a 25% off coupon for your whole order. So any order or purchase, I guess, in store and online. And they're having a huge sale on yarn. Like I said, buy two, get one free. And it's like all their yarn, the Kaleidoscope, Karen Cakes, um, any loops and threads, Red Heart, um, Bernat blanket yarn is buy two get one free and I think that one was that one on sale um I know the Karen cakes right now are all on sale um the normal Karen cakes I think they are going from $4.39 to $7.99 it just depends on the color I think but those are on sale right now I think I want to do a segment called yarn sales <laughs> um and I, I don't know if Joann's is still having their, like, yarnormous sale. Um, but they have a 20% off total purchase coupon, too. Um, Bernat Blanket Yarn is $6.99. Bernat Blanket and Baby Yarn is $6.99 uh, uh, $6 instead of $9.99, plus the 20% off coupon. Gonna see if there's anything. Nope, that was it. That was the only yarn. I, I'm sure if I go to their actual website, there probably will be more. Let's see. But you get an extra 20% off coupon. So check your emails or sign up for their um, email list. Get their app. Their app is awesome. Um, yeah. And if you're military, they also do military discount as well, and they'll add that on top. <laughs> excuse me, on top of any of your purchases. And I think it's like 10% off. Um, but if you're doing like the 20% off all items, I don't think your 10% counts. I think it's more like if you use a 50% off coupon and then a 10% off and stuff like that. Yeah, it looks like it's just the um, Bernat Baby Blanket yarn and Bernat Blanket, Bernat Brights yarn. So it's all their blanket yarn. <clears throat> so yeah. I need to start looking at the online stuff like Knit Picks or Love Crochet, Love Knitting. They do a lot of sales too. Um, yeah. 
I need to check them out. <sighs> yeah. Um, you know, I was watching the Crochet Circle podcast, and oh my gosh, Faye has put out some beautiful, like she showed some designs that she's going to be putting up within the next month, I think. Oh my god. And one of her cowls were gorgeous. It was like with a speckled indie dyed yarn. It was beautiful. And I so want to do that with one of mine because I'm sitting here with these indie dyed yarns and I'm like, what the heck am I going to do with these? That it's, because I only have one skein. And I know there's a lot of people doing the one skein Wonderland cowl and I totally wanted to do that one. But I didn't know what I was going to make. I didn't know anything that was going to work with one skein. Um, yeah. So I, did, I missed out on that one. But I think they said you could still technically join because it doesn't end until the end of January. But yes. But she made these beautiful, like, matching mitts, cowl, beanie. I think it was a cowl. Cowl beanie set. Oh, my gosh. It is so pretty, and it's freaking Tunisian crochet, which is something I was really gung ho about a few um, podcasts ago, and then I kind of just, kind of just slipped away. So I need to actually get working on those pot holders again. Ugh. I'm tired of gift knitting. <laughs> I did so or gift crocheting because I didn't knit anything, but I crocheted so much stuff for Christmas. Um, but yeah, I need to get working on those, so she's kind of expecting them. I don't know when, but yeah. Oh my goodness. But the cow starts today. I'm so excited, and I'm going to, oh, I might even wait to do my hair. No, I need to do my hair. This is hot mess. Hot mess central. There's like faded purples in there. This is, this is actually a red from a while ago, but it kind of looks faded into pink now and this blue this blue just won't go away I've had this blue since August it won't go away like I'm like washing it and washing it and it's just like this blue is like I am forever to stay with you which I am I am gonna do another blue but um maybe lighter and then down here it's starting to turn like a greenish greenish blue but that's like my thing. I love bright colored hair. Some people do tattoos, some do piercings. Oh my gosh, there's one, there we go. I love bright colored hair because it does eventually wash out and it's not permanent. So yeah, okay, I'm not gonna keep you any longer because we're already sitting at 48 minutes. So I will say goodbye to you and I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Um, whatever time it is where you're at and I can't wait to start seeing everyone's progress on the cowl or shawl Duh. Um, I'm super excited but I gotta go do my hair first and then I'm starting like I don't have enough stuff cast on already anyways okay I will see you guys next week and we can share our progress together on our cowl so I will see you guys later Bye.